Town LA. It's the Will Jolly Fever Show. Boom shakalaka. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Little Jolly Gamer Show. This is episode 112. I am Brandon and joining me today as always is... Jacob. In Whisker. Albert Whisker. <laughs> Albert Whisker. I had my eyes closed that whole time and then I didn't see you put those sunglasses on and I opened my eyes. That's, Whisker. That's, that's perfection. My name is Albert Whisker. So Lance Reddick is going to be Whisker. That's pretty great. Stars. Um, today... Today we test you out against our bioweapon. Zombies. Lots zombies. of zombies. Anyway, so this is a video game podcast where we talk about video games we've been playing, gaming news, all that good stuff. We are primarily focusing on news today, and not even really news, we are talking about our predictions for E3, because in case you didn't know, E3, as of this recording, is tomorrow. It's the most wonderful time, well, kind of, of the year. Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put a little clip that's going to be our new hype clip for anything that we're hyped about. Okay. I'm going to put it right here. E3. <laughs> All right. I really like that hype clip. That's that was really hype. hype. That clip. was hype, what dude. Happened? Anyway, <laughs> I'm I usually am really excited about E3 as I am this year, but we're gonna we're gonna talk about this. It's a weird year. It's totally question, digital question, event. Question mark year. And so it's the electronic entertainment experience. Experience. And so we um <laughs> we what preceded E3, uh, like I said, E3 starts tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, it was Summer Games Fest yeah. from Jeff Keighley. He sounded so excited. Yeah, he was. Bless his heart. And he had a uh, he had a little showcase yesterday. We're gonna review the stuff that he talked about there, and then we're gonna go into our E3 schedule that's mm-hmm. planned. We're just gonna talk about some of the things we'd like to see, some things that we, you know, would hope to see that might be a long shot. You know, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll get into it. But before we do that, let's do a video game trivia card. We, we normally we do this. Uh, it's our new thing. We do a video game trivia card out of this pack of trivia cards my mommy bought me for Christmas hey, last year, uh, and we will reveal the answers to these questions at the end of the show. So, first question: Which former Gears of War studio is the developer for the 2017 game Fortnite Battle Royale? Hmm, I don't know that one, Brandon. And secondly, which Apple. names <laughs> share? <laughs> no. <laughs> With names shared with the typefaces used for their speech bubbles, what are the skeleton duo in Underdale, Undertale called? Oh, Excuse me, Undertale. That's a Steve and you. Boy. So anyway, so we'll answer those at the end of the show. Sweet. So let's start off with the Summer Games Fest yeah. kickoff ceremony. Yeah. Uh, I, I, from what I understand, you procured a list of everything that happened in chronological I was, order. <laughs> I was doing it as it as it did, baby. Okay, uh, good. So, I'm glad, because I had um, a meeting for work in the middle of it. Yeah, that's the bad thing about some of these things, that uh, this was on a Thursday afternoon. Yeah, um, yeah strange. And, I, I just happened to be by the computer. And unfortunately, I mean, this, this weekend, we're getting some interesting stuff this weekend, but the best of the best of the best of the best is going to be, of course, on a weekday, which I'm talking about Nintendo. Um, so, Jacob, would you want to take us through the list of, uh, of everything on the Summer Games Fest? So, that was nice? Yeah, so Geoff, uh, no. so Jeff started out talking with Hideo Jeff Kojima. Kili, the Dorito Kojima, Pope. yeah. Koji- Kojima. Kojima, we love Kojima, Kojima's a real great, great guy. Uh, we love Kojima, Kojima. Kojima. And you know what I love about Kojima is that in his games, there's no glitches. No, no glitches. glitches. And in glitches. case you didn't know, we're not people who do glitches. We don't no, like we glitches. Don't do glitches. We don't really do glitches. doesn't have glitchy games, does he? I think okay. <laughs> Uh, You're all right. But he, he started, they, they chatted it up for a little bit, and then he, he said, oh, one more thing, and then he announced the um, Death Stranding Director's Cut, which was a strange trailer. We what we saw Sam Bridges Is this looking at the with? box. Yeah. They started with this? Yeah, there might have been something right right before it, but this is did this they not, something. Did they not open with... Um, they might have missed it. They somewhere. opened up with the Tiny Tina thing. Yeah, they oh, opened up with, with the Borderlands. With the Borderlands. Oh, my mistake. I so, this. yeah, there is Tiny Tina. Way to go, Jacob. Tiny, blew it. Tiny, t- I missed the first three minutes, my God. <laughs> Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, which is a spin-off series, or yeah. a sidestep from Borderlands. Uh, excuse my child at the door, please. Oh, there he's trying to break in. Um, she got to board it up. <laughs> They're breaking in! Ting, ting, this ting. Real, They're breaking in! This is a real professional studio here. <laughs> uh, anyway, so yeah, Wonderlands is a 
Um, it's, not a bo- it's not a Borderlands game. It's in, kind of in the vein of Borderlands, but it's more like less guns and more like magic spells yeah. and character customization and some of the stuff that makes Borderlands bad. <laughs> you know, like... <laughs> Because Borderlands yeah. doesn't have that. Borderlands doesn't uh-uh. have... Um, they don't have character customs. They have they can change the colors and stuff, but other than that, I what mean, else can you do? I, I personally like Tiny Tina. I like her character. I know that she's the same cliche that everybody kind of got sick of with the yeah. movie, with the whole over-the-top humor I that was kind of outdated. Though. Borderlands in general. Yeah, um, but I like her. I mean, her character's fun. She likes to blow crap up. They have some really cool voice actors, too. Yeah, Andy I, Samberg. Mm-hmm. Wanda Sykes. Yeah. Wanda Sykes. Like random uh, that people. one guy, what's his name? Was it Will Arnett? Was he in there? Yeah, Will Arnett. Will Arnett. Will Arnett. He's in there. That's cool. Yeah. He's got a voice. That's cool. I mean, it looks interesting. I mean, all, it's literally just a title time. card. Yeah, yeah. It's just the details of it. So. The title card and like some cool cutscenes and stuff. Okay, okay sorry, uh, I must have missed this. Like in in nah, I just like a. It's basically just a cinematic. Or yeah, yeah, it's a cinematic reveal trailer, and yeah. it, no gameplay or anything like that. Yet. It just had a guy with a gun. With dreadlocks and, and there was a dragon. Yeah, yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll dragon, see. Yeah. We'll see. Borderlands Three was alright. So, okay, so then then after that was Hideo, right? I believe so. I don't did I miss anything else. I don't uh, know. There was I, I kind of watched it on and off because it worked. I came in four minutes late. Four but, to five minutes late. So yeah, I do remember he. Look, going into the show, I was like, okay, it was like bam, 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 warp me, warp me, warp me, warp me. I yeah. I went into the show like just assuming that Kojima was gonna oh absolutely show up. yeah. So because you know it's Jeff Keighley's show and him and Ko- Kojima, they're Kojima? really good, they're really good buddies. Yeah. Uh, they they uh, must and Conan O'Brien. Yeah. <laughs> They must hang out a lot outside of the industry show. I guess. But anyways, uh, Death Strand is getting a director's cut. Director's cut, I yeah. thought it was a sequel at first. Well, I was curious because yeah. he did the whole... so weird. He did the whole box thing, yeah. like, all right, Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. Like, what I was thinking, we, like, what is are we this... Doing? Clearly a nod to Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, if you like that game, there's more of it for you. There you go. Did, you, but then did we get that for free one month or no? No. Okay, I thought we did. No. I'm surprised we haven't. Not yet, at least. I mean, um, it's only been out. Huh. Did, uh, um, <laughs> this, this, this is the part where I say, uh, is, this, is that director's cut going to make it a good game? Yeah. But no, it actually is a good game. Yeah. I've played it before. I want to try it. The narrative is what it's I just, don't care it's about. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. The strand seems pretty good. <laughs> yeah, the narrative stuff makes me want to throw up um, in a box so, and deliver it to someone. <laughs> Do we want to? Do we just? Is there anything else we want to talk about that other than it's just? Uh, a no, it's just a yeah, just a. It just said more to come. So yeah. that apparently we'll probably hear I some mean, more. It's the three. Kojima cut. I'm <laughs> yeah. sure. I'm yeah. sure. You know. I'm sure there's going to be some cool stuff about it. I'm sure that um, you know, if you're a death, if you're a Death Stranding fan, it's going to be like new experience. Well, uh, like I, I'm realistically thinking, I wonder if they're going to put like little enhancements or. Is fix, it the same fixes, game? Like, uh, kind of like how Persona did. You know, like... Sure. You know, like, maybe maybe is, enhance is some some of the systems or something. That would make sense, because Roy was an exponentially better game than the original. Oh, uh, so... Um, mm-hmm. They moved on to... He brought in uh, Jeff Goldblum, uh, showed up, and talked a little bit, just like Jeff Goldblum would talk. I said, if Jeff Goldblum... I don't care what game it is, if Jeff Goldblum's in it, I want to get it. It's just strange. Dude. Wait, did he reveal the Jurassic Park thing? Yeah, yeah so that was when we get into Jurassic World. Is Evolution that, 2. Is that the RTS thing? Yeah. The, uh, is build, it RTS? Build the Park. Build the Park. Okay, because they didn't really talk about, about that. It, here. it seems up your alley. You know, really, uh, you know, honestly, I was thinking about it, I was watching it, and I was just like, um... I really want a game. I really want a game where I could just cap some zombies, man. Just like shoot them, like let, let me shoot, shoot some things, you know. Wait, wait, yeah. wait, 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 Jurassic Park. You, you, you want to shoot zombies in Jurassic Park? No, not zombies. Did I say zombies? You said zombies. zombies. Oops, sorry, dinosaurs. 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 I want to cap t- some dinosaurs. Let me tell you about a game called the Turok. The Turok. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, that's so, I want a freaking Jurassic Park yeah. Turok game. Um, well, that's why I, I didn't know that was because they, they didn't really talk about it. It Just said more to come, and it said 2021. Yeah, it's it's basically it looked like a mobile. Game. It's really cool. I mean, I I got it on my computer, but I haven't downloaded it okay. because it looked like yeah. I haven't downloaded it yet because I have to. Um, it just takes up space that I, I want for other things. It, um, it looked alright. I got it for free on the Epic Store, so, um, I mean, I don't know, it looks pretty cool. It's one of them park simulator games, I like those, they're pretty neat. I like is, Roller Coaster is Tycoon. It, and stuff. I, I want a I want Jurassic Park game. Can, you, can I just get Roller Coaster Tycoon, but Jurassic Park? I think that's basically what it is. Can, can you charge, can you overcharge for popcorn? Yeah. 
I okay. think so. I think oh. you like set That's everything. Cool enough. You have to do like Oops. asset protection. You have to like uh, you have to beef up security. Make sure the password can you over escape. can you overcharge for the Jello? I'm sure you can. I don't know. I don't know how deep it is. There's a Jello in there. Yeah. Give cream. me my Jurassic some, Park some Jello. ice cream. You know, lunchbox. So. I hope so. That'd be really cool. It. Please tell me how we're going to sell lunchbox. You're just selling it. You're just selling it. You're just uh, selling it. I can't uh, hit the table because I'm going to bust your ear. But uh, the, after that, it was that girl singing, and she was uh, while she was uh, playing the sable the sable game. That's that yeah. open world. There was a exploring. lot of these. Games. Yeah. Yes. They showed a lot of these games, like not triple A, not wow. super indie. Just kind of like these these yeah, interesting, good looking games, but right. just not anything that's gonna so play. Like, nothing that caught my attention yet. Like so, like, I can just kind of blow through them. Like Lost Ark 2021, some RPG game they didn't really talk about it. Yeah. They talked about Amazon Gaming. They gave him a plug. Call of Duty had a new season. That girl talked for a little bit. There was Ryan Reynolds promoted his uh, free Free Guy movie. Uh, promo. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got some more Among Us details about. Uh, all right, the, I'm gonna say something real quick about okay, that though. All right, all right, go ahead. Um, honestly, I really like what they're adding in there. It's really cool. Um, they are adding in different, um, different like, what's the word I'm looking for? Different roles and stuff like that. Like, yeah. it's not just there's you, a, have, there's you a, have to guess. There's a medic. Yeah. There's a medic. Who a can revive people. There's a scientist. There's oh, a sheriff. Really cool. The sheriff can kill imposters. The sheriff can kill people too. But if he kills an innocent person, he dies as well. Yeah. But it's, if he kills an imposter, then you move on. Because at the end of this game, at the end of the day, this game is mafia. I was, mafia. Well, I was, I was, I was gonna that say that, that that's camp. That's what that game needs because that's exactly I, what it is. It's a cool concept, but it it after a while it gets monotonous. It has so much room to develop itself. Yeah. So I'm glad that new not colors, me. maps, visor bling. Yeah. Uh, whatever and you want to get. The cool thing about that is, is that this started off as a mod that fan that fan made because they were there. People have been playing this type of thing that. The, that was so just a mod. Just adapting and it. so basically what they did, uh, I think they reached out to people in the mod and it's like, hey, we want to make this an official part of the game for like the PC, console, and everything. Like, let's work together, you know? Which is most companies should be doing. Nintendo. So. Sorry. Um, <laughs> they went to PlayStation Indies. Um, the the creative director, or the director, I should say, the guy in charge of the PlayStation Indies. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. That weird paint game where you could draw on the screen and move stuff around. I, I couldn't really understand what was going on there. Salt and Sacrifice is a 2D soul style? Salt. Salt and Sacrifice, yeah. yeah. It's like a 2D side scroll one game, but it looks, looks soulsy. Like there's like big bosses you have to fight and then you get to die. Like Dark Souls? Yeah, yeah. It looks. Interesting. Oh God! They're for calling some, that for, salt it, and sacrifice. For, for, for some reason, <laughs> I think I think that's been announced before. Maybe yeah. they're just showing more. They're probably showing more. It's, it's ringing a bell. Twenty twenty two. Uh, that Solar Ash game. They keep plugging that Solar yeah, Ash game. Yeah. Uh, Chivalry two. Look. So Seth wants to get into this. It does look good. Chivalry is the two. Yeah. Uh, Sixty four man medieval combat. Medieval melee uh, combat. Mm-hmm. First person. Yeah. A lot of shouting. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of screaming and shouting. Uh, Valorant got a new tease. Escape from Tarkov. Tarkov. It's an FPS game. That, that was that it's one throwing, that... It's throwing a little popularity. A lot of PC people... I've, I like. I see it. It's, like like it's kind of like Arma-ish kind of, Sim. Yeah. America's Army style. One of, them, one of them type Delta Force type games where it's like, you know, yeah. you get in with your buddies on PC and you just go kill them. It's just that trailer was way too long. Yeah. It was like a two and a half minute trailer. I have trailer no just idea what's going on with it. Just, I've, I've heard about it. Yeah. I have no idea what's going on about it. Uh, Peter Molyneux and his, his, his crew with the Two Point Campus... Uh, that's where the, you're a campus simulator. That looked interesting enough. You know what I'm talking about? Here, involved. I'd, I'd, well, I'd, I'd, well. I'd be careful. Yeah. <laughs> Going the other way. Smite added a Stranger Things DLC. You can play as Hopper or Ooh. a Lady or a Gorgon, so if you're in the Smite. It's like it's like um it's kind of like uh, League of Legends kind of it's oh. one of those mini knockoffs kind of like yeah. um, uh, Heroes of the Storm the sort 10, of ten thousand MOBAs yeah. that we have yeah. in the market yeah. right now but it's more of the hero MOBA style say hero based so you got yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, so like the heroes I, yeah. I don't know who the hero classes are in that game but you can you can have eleven doesn't games. matter now because I can play as Hopper yeah. that's random I mean it looked cool because it was like he like jumped <laughs> yeah, through, he had two yeah, guns and Hopper's shooting I mean, that's it's, random it's, it is okay um cool I guess. Prime Matter, so Prime Matter is this new publisher that they announced, and they just had a sizzle trailer of all these games that apparently there's like 12 new games they're making, and one of those was what? Uh, Payday 3? Payday 3 is oh. it, yeah. So, uh, man, I want some not payday. developing publisher. I want some payday in my life. Yeah, man. 2 is just too old. They didn't show us anything other than the trailer of the clown mask and them standing there, and like, hey, Payday 3's a thing, so that's nice. cool. 
Uh, Pretty neat. The Anacrusis. That's a this it's a four player co op escape full of a ship full of aliens. It kind of looks kind of strange. It's kind of like a left for. <laughs> <laughs> is this the one that, that like? Oh yeah, yeah. It, it's got a '60s yeah, yeah, aesthetic. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but like it, it's something like the gra graphical, like it looks weird to me. Well, like all the aliens, it's supposed to be like, it's like it looks, it looks, it looks, it looks, it looks right? stiff. Yes, it looks stiff. like all the aliens look at the, the same pose. Dead in space. That's basically what it is, right? Kind of. You have to get out of the ship. Right, look, it needs work. <laughs> yeah, it needs some work. It need work. I mean, honestly. <laughs> I'll, it did. I'll it welcome good. any Left 4 Dead type of game. It looks like interesting. The concept is neat. It looks interesting, neat, yeah. but hey, Back for Blood's coming out. Yeah, that's uh, what I was going to say. I was about to say, yes. Back for Blood's got my attention. Let's, let's, let's keep going through the list. Yeah. Uh, new World, it's a new MMO for Amazon, whatever. They've been, it they've looks announced interesting. That. It looks it, interesting. It's enough. basically... Uh, You're on this island. <laughs> <laughs> sitting there playing Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, or or if you're playing WoW. Uh, right. A lot of people, a lot of people, people are describing it as a wow killer. It's not a wow killer. It's wow. The only, the wow. only threat, wow is the only threat, yeah, wow is the wow. Amazon's killer. attached the to it. The only threat that's yeah. to wow is Final Fantasy XIV, and they're putting up a legitimate threat. But, but I mean, I like the concept because it's more of a uh, revolutionary war era type the, MMO. The, the genre, the theme is yeah. really cool. Yeah, yeah, it's not like it's not like most fantasy MMOs where it's like sword shields. You know, it's like it's like that's muskets good. and and. Uh, yeah. And, and, and stuff like that. So that's really cool, but I don't know. Fast and Furious got their Rocket League uh, Oh, so they're bringing, triple pack. they're bringing back the pack that I bought, mm -hmm. plus yeah. with that has the new car from the new the movie. Does it have the Jurassic Park pack in it? No, no that's just, it's just, just, just Fast and Furious stuff. Furious. And I bet you it's going to be like 20 bucks, and I bought it for $3. If, yeah. they, if they bring back the Jurassic Park pack, I'll get right back into Rocket League like I never left. So I never played Vampire Mat the Masquerade, but it's a Swedish studio, Shark Mob, and they're coming out with this Blood Hunt. It looks, mm -hmm. It's like a cooperative, or not cooperative, a competitive multiplayer, but you're all like vampires. Mm -hmm. Like, but like, so you have like these vampiric abilities, like one one guy, but it's all shooting. You're shooting still. There's still guns. So think Underworld, but with no lichens. But then you can also like teleport and like come up behind somebody or like do this vampiric draft, and you can turn into this big beast. It's just vampires versus vampires. Oh, yeah. So it's, it's good. It, it looks vampire interesting vampire enough. It, mm -hmm. uh, this looks really cool. I never played the other two, but Until Dawn was one of my favorite games. But Dark, oh, the yeah. Dark Pictures Anthology, I House of Ashes, October twenty second. So like, it's apparently in the uh, uh, the original Iraqi War in two thousand three, and there's like apparently like, hey, this is bunker underground. We need to go find because probably the bad guys got weapons of mass destruction down there where they fall into it. And of course, there's it's the, it's the horror game, so something's chasing them. But it looks like some kind of weird, like, oh, they bad found the weapon creature. Oh, so they found the weapons of mass destruction. Yeah, some bad cool. Iraqi cursed bat thing. Yeah. But those those series are really good. I really wish I like, got into the Man of Badon and then. Uh, Wait, did they show that Metal Slug stuff somewhere in here? They yeah, did. They did. It was like a. It's towards the end ish. I, I, pre pointing. I prefer old Metal Slug games. Yeah, me too. But yeah. I, I'm, I'm just I'm not the biggest fan of, like... I hate those the tactics. tactical grids. But hey, it's uh, Metal Slug. It's cool. Uh, there's a JRPG they announced, Tales of Arise. It looks pretty good. Um, Sky Children of, um, of the Light is a Nintendo Switch announcement. June 29th. Uh, Planet of Lana. I don't remember what that was. Uh, oh, it was like that little weird, like almost like Breath of the Wild style era. And this, this Dude, they showed so much it's stuff. It's so much stuff. Yeah, they showed so much stuff. It's hard to even... Like, I don't want to say it was all samey. It was just a lot yeah. of smaller things. It's hard to keep track of all of it. Yeah. I, I'll, I'll, I'll even this. the big things. I've even forgot about the big things, like this next thing you're about to Overwatch about. 2, they showed off new skins. Now, what, what makes this important is that they just showed off Sombra and Baptiste. Yeah. But they overhauled them. So, like, Sombra looks like she's got, like, a next-gen look to it. She mm. still looks like she's got that same animation. It's the same costumes. Like, oh, new skins. Like, we're done, we're done. Yeah, so they just updated the models? They updated the models a little bit. Kind of like with That's the cool. I mean, they need to. The yeah. game came out yeah, in 2016. 2016. Yeah. So, interested in and this that. This game probably going to come out until next year anyway. Probably. Dungeons and Dragons, Dark Alliance, Battlefield. Now they didn't. They just showed a, a sizzle reel for Battlefield 2042. Battlefield had already got announced prior uh -huh. to Battlefield, the Bill Paxson edition. That game looks really good. By the way. It looks pretty cool. Yes, it no does. No single player, no campaign. Yeah, it's all multiplayer right. only. Yeah. 120 something people on a big old map. So let me. I'll, I'll, I'll do my side tangent right quick because we we're not gonna really talk about Battlefield because already got announced. But like uh, yeah. one, Battlefield one was a really cool take because they went back to World War One, yeah. which no game did, and it was yeah. a good game. That was the first World War One game. Yes, but then they went back to two, and everybody was like, eh. but then Seth and I and a friend of ours, Nick, picked it up, and it was a, 
It was a good game. So, like, between one and two, they've been setting out solid games for Battlefield. Well, at least they're trying to make it some variety. But yeah. now they're coming back to that where they're, they're, they're classic genre. I just think modern is the most boring setting. I think, well, I think, I think it's a little more, more than modern. Well, so, well hold on, hold on. Let me, yeah. let me finish. Yeah. This isn't modern. This is slightly futuristic. Right. It's 2042, so there's, like, not spaceships. Not a little robot dog a drops down. spaceship is, like, a hovercraft. It's like, right. it'd be like Vincent's it's, kid. It, it's more like, hey, yeah, I got a, I got a bullet that can shoot and it turns into a spider and gets in your eyeball. Yeah, you know, something like that. You know, it's, you know, I just I, I, what I'm trying yeah. to say is is I feel like the most boring setting for these shooters is just straight modern. Yeah. I I agree, but if you're if you're like if you're me if you're in that world, that's what you want. Like, yeah, the, 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 the player think, base wants that. That's what they want. I guess. I think modern does better when you do a campaign mode that's got a really cool story to it. Yeah. I think if you just do a modern uh, multiplayer game, it's like. Yeah. That is one of the deal shoes. But anyway, let's, let's, let's not get Did they to explain uh, one, one last thing? Did they ever explain the origin of that tornado? No. Uh, so it was just there? It was just there. Is that like a, I wonder if that's a have, random weather event. I have or no if that's idea if like, like the planet starting up. Yeah, I don't know. Global warming. Who knows? I don't know. Uh, oh, Monster Hunter. Be putting their liberal <laughs> crap in there. Monster, <laughs> Monster Hunter Stories 2. That's that. Um, uh, it looks okay. That, another, another, like, another Monster Hunter game just for me to bounce off. Tickling my pickle. Making me want to play it. I can't play that. Um, Wings of gave me Monster Hunter World for PS4. That's okay. Uh, Wave Break, that's the one. It's like Tony Hawk with jet skis. That's when, uh, that's when Weezer was playing the band. I didn't see Now, towards the end of... <laughs> Wait, Weezer played? Weezer was playing <laughs> a song that's in the game Wave Break. And it's weird because it's Is it like little... Wave Race 64, but it's about doing tricks instead of... Yeah, it's doing absolutely. Time. Like, it's a yeah. skate park okay. that's half underwater, so, like, your jet ski's coming up and flipping. And it looks like the little thing, like Tony Hawk, where it shows you the name of all the combos you're doing. That's pretty yeah. cool. It's interesting enough. Uh, Endless Dungeon Extended Look they've already announced that it's a dungeon crawler they talked to uh, what's the guy's name that plays Gus it's in Far Cry uh, 6 John Carlo yeah they talked to him for a little bit but you, we didn't really hear much more about it um, they did Back for Blood uh, Back for Blood they gave a uh, pre-order for uh, beta access okay. yeah there it is right there so it, it, like, oh, that's like, pretty cool. And you're like okay. these anthropomorphic animals that are sliding around. And... Yo, that looks one for one like Tony Hawk. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little close. Gameplay-wise. Game yeah, but yeah. I, I'm assuming, I think Weezer pl- has a song in it, so they were okay. they were. They were I'll playing. bite. I'll um, bite. Yeah. They, they, showed some, they showed some Tunic gameplay and talked to one of the developers, tunic. which just got me excited because that game now, was they really did cool. Now, they did show Tunic last, last year, year, but, but they were just like, hey, they didn't talk about it. it's still here. It's still, still here. Yeah. We saw it in that, that Sizzle trailer a long time ago. A long time ago. And we were like, hey, what was that game? And yeah. then they never talked about, about it again. Um, and then th- this is what I want to talk about because me and Seth found this in the PlayStation Store. But Tribes of Midgard, that is the Valheim knockoff. I now, saw. I it, say it, this. I saw that. I've heard Seth said that this game's actually been in development before Valheim. So I don't. But know it's not who's, exactly. It's like not exactly Valheim. Valheim. It's more, it's more of a dungeon crawler top okay. down. It's more of like a Diablo meets Valheim yeah. meets dungeon yeah. defense, yeah. tower defense. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's cell shaded kind of looking. I'm interested in it. I'm interested. Yeah, because yeah. I can play no console. <laughs> and then there was some, probably some other stuff in here that I might be leaving out, but it's not enough to remember. And then at the very end, Elden Ring showed up. As a date, lost their January twenty first, twenty twenty two. When I went into this show, I thought a couple things. First things first, Kojima's going to show up. Right. Right. Second thing, they're going to show a lot of stuff. And third, I thought that they were going to cap it off with one biggie, and that biggie, I thought maybe would have been God of War. Okay. But whenever I found out that they delayed it and Sony hasn't announced anything yet, mm-hmm. I was like, it's probably going to be Elden Ring. So yeah. whenever they showed it, I was like, okay, makes sense. I had a feeling it was going to be Elden Ring because they just have not. Yeah, and then they said it's, it's, it's announced it for 2022, since, which January is 21st. probably a solid date. And I mean, it's cool and all, but it, it, it's not my it, genre. It looks like it's, a cool game. It's it's just like, all right, they showed it. Now we gotta wait two yeah. years. Again. I don't. I, I mean, I'm just really not into that Dark Souls type deal. Yeah, I I, I would, I, but this is multiplayer, four player co op. That's with, pretty neat. I think, I like isn't that. it? And it's got there like go. it doesn't have like some open world elements. Well, now you're tickling my fancy. Now you're tickling so, my pickle. And it's got George R. R. Martin. He's supervising the story. Yeah, that, I mean, that would be It's got cool. Miyazaki doing Personally, the Personally, yeah. And that was cool that Miyazaki and yeah. From came in and said, hey, let's put our stuff. You, you snap yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, do it at the end so everybody can have their time to show Personally, yeah. I'd rather him finish From the stuff. books, you know, yeah, that's been yeah. sitting there. But, you know, if he wants to help out with the video he's game, not, that's cool. Not gonna, that's why he's supervising the story. Dog, he's he's not writing the story. I know. We, this this him, game would never have come out. They were using him for inspiration. But anyway, that was Summer Games Fest. And they had, like, another little stream earlier today, but yeah, I don't think they really showed anything. Um, so overall, what'd you guys think? 
I mean, it was good. It wasn't. I think it was. I think. Okay, okay, I'll say this. I think it was definitely a lot more put together than it was last year. Yeah. yeah. But we're, last there year, was last actual, year he kind of winged it. Well, uh, there yes. was an actual presentation. Yes. Yeah. They never had one of those last year. Yeah. yeah. I think you, that you was. Kinda, I think yeah. Kind of winged it last right. year because you know it's like E3's canceled. We need something to lift the spirits of the gaming community yeah. because you know we're all. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. Gaming community is more than happy to be. Was Keeley's uh. Uh, his thing, his signal in the sky. What would it be? Dude, signal Jeff, the Jeff, signal, the Keeley signal. The Keeley cat. The Keeley copter. <laughs> to the Keeley copter. Jeff Keeley is a national treasure that needs to be. Pres- I'm sorry, international because he's from Canada. Um, <laughs> yeah, he makes that very clear. Yeah, yeah. He needs to be preserved at all costs. Here. By the way, <laughs> you know, I don't care how bad th- that summer of games would have been. I still have the utmost respect for Keeley and everything that he's been doing. Yeah, man, he's he's, uh, he's, he's doing the Lord's work out there. He is. He really um, is. I, I, so what I, is this? I do want to say I'm uh, I'm just kind of I pulled up the IGN's YouTube page oh, okay, because he this. had the IGN expo. Yeah, going. I was I, I want oh, to literally say, okay. literally right now. I wanted to say that we missed the Koch Primetime Gaming Stream that Herman earlier, and they didn't really announce very yeah, much. I'm just looking, IGN's going on right now. Yeah, they've got just I'm look at all these they're just go, games, just yeah. games and games and games. Go up to uh, can you go by the way back out? There was a game I was. Like Chernobyl, Chernobyl, Chernobyl. I'll click it. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think um, I think it was an alright show. It just doesn't. It didn't have the things I'm looking yeah, for. It, it yeah. Went, none of none of the games, other than like a handful, like maybe the first one. Yeah. But I'm not even into Looty Shooties anyway. Not to say that E3 is. I mean, it's, it's just getting started tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think there's some cool stuff on the horizon, and we're about to talk about that. I think. Yeah. Uh, you guys want to? Um, well, yeah. You know, we can't really hear it, so. Yeah. So I will. Uh, We'll have to, we'll have to check oh, interesting. Out. But no, they have a huge list of games from IGN that just yeah. sitting there that we, we're not going to be able to go through right now. Uh, right. So, uh, starting tomorrow, Saturday, yep. uh, there's going to be a couple. Uh, there's going to be the Gorilla Collective, Wholesome Direct, Ubisoft Forward, Gearbox, and Devolver Digital. <laughs> uh, so you got all that stuff written mm-hmm. down there. Um, What's Gorilla Collective? <laughs> yeah, what, what is that? So Gorilla Collective is a, they're they're I think they're a publisher. Um, okay. They um, so new sp- blood. No, yeah, new ish. When I hear Gorilla, I think of Gorilla Games like uh, Horizon. That's what I think too. Um, Hello Neighbor Two. That's the, they, they 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 did that. Oh. They, they, so uh, let me let me Hello preface, Neighbor was really Let me popular. preface this. So a lot of this stuff. So, so just like we were gonna say beforehand. This E3 is probably the most question mark field E3 because I think we're now feeling the delay of COVID. We didn't mm-hmm. feel it so much last year as we are feeling it now. Yeah, because they were they were still they were like beginning to wrap up a lot of things with mm-hmm. with what would have been E3 last year. Right. Um, whereas now we're in the thick of it. I mean, the production yes. it, production if it wasn't finished, it's going to be either midway or just starting and. Anything that just started is going to get pushed back a great deal. So let me say in this that in, in that that so that a lot of these uh, announcements, a lot of announcements through all these things are not Oops, set right. in stone. So I put them as announcements or expectations. This okay. is like okay, we yeah. should we expect to see it, and then yeah, I, put, yeah, yeah. I put down predictions. Predictions so as a we want to predict it. What's the wholesome direct? So. Well, anyway, sorry, I want to go back. They, it's it's we're looking for Loot River. It's procedurally dug, generated dungeon crawler. This is, gorilla, looking, gorilla. This, this is a small developer. Small developer, yeah. Gorilla so collective? wholesome, de- oh, okay. yeah, gorilla, yeah. And they they did that. Um, they're doing that sable thing where that girl was sitting yeah. at the summer games. That's okay. pretty cool. Okay. Right, anyways, um, oh, yeah. so that's why they're showing. It's me. a lot of indie stuff. Yeah, um, that's fine. Uh, really wholesome is going to be the same thing. Wholesome is going to be a lot of indies, but this is this is going to be over seventy five titles are supposed to be shown here. Oh. And it's it's just an independent showcase. Uh, and then their their spotlight is uplifting, thoughtful, and creative indie games. That's, that's, that's pretty so cool. cool. So it's going to be a cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love that indie I'm, games. I'm going to miss a couple of these. I got, life I, cycle I got some stuff I got to do tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to miss the Gorilla Collective and Wholesome Direct, but I should be home in time to catch Ubisoft Forward. They, they have Devolver Digital. I, we don't know anything about what Devolver's going to do, but knowing Devolver Games, they're supposed to. They always have good games. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So Gearbox is yeah. in there. That's we'll probably hear more about Wonderlands there. They're in the middle there yeah, at so 3 p.m. I want to say for Ubisoft, um, so that, that's that's all for Saturday, tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, I want to say, uh, I'm looking most Oh, forward. I'm sorry, I skipped. There it is. Okay, Ubi is at 2 p.m. June 12th. Sorry, thank you. Yeah, I time. skipped it. I, I'm looking forward to this the most that day because I want to see some some details and gameplay on Far Cry 6, of course. I think that's going to be a yeah. I'm not like, I think, it, just like I talked about like on the last episode, I'm excited for it, but I'm just not getting my hopes up for it. Yeah. I think it just looks like a good Far Cry game. I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be good. I'm, I mean, honestly, with Ubi, Ubisoft, I'm always hit or miss myself. I want to see some Rainbow Six. Yeah. Extraction. Yeah. Parasite. 
they've changed. Well, it was parasite, and they changed it to extraction. Why? Well, it, well, it was. It was. It was quarantine. Six, quarantine. <laughs> and they're like, we gotta change that. <laughs> uh, poor, poor timing. Yeah. Na- hey, naming stuff is is not easy. Yeah. So in, the, in today's I, climate, no, it's. not. I'm sure they'll 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 also because I mean, look, we've always we've talked about this on the podcast. Ubisoft is great about supporting their IPs, big time. Are so, we gonna see Skull and Crossbones? That's my prediction. Skull and Crossbones and Beyond Good and Evil Two. I would love to see some more. I probably won't. You know, I, it, it, there's, a, there's a way. There's a way better chance to see Skull and Crossbones. Skull and Crossbones the pirate game. The pirate game. Okay. It's, it's a way better chance to see that than to see Beyond Good and Evil with all the stuff. I'm going sure on. Beyond Good and Evil is probably going to be a whole the... lot of stuff going on that's yes. not video game related in their company. Yes, I know. And I, it is coming from that game. <laughs> uh, I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry state with um, but I, I'm with you. I, 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 wish, I wish I could see it and um, uh, I want to see gameplay. I'm sure we'll, we'll hear more about The Crew 2, Trackmania, Watch Dogs Legion, For Honor. Because it's it's Just Dance going to show up. Are we going to get like a dancing you know wall? They have yeah, to. You they know they will. Now I will say this though, there are <laughs> Wait, the, people are talking about a <laughs> VR Assassin's Creed. Uh, All right. That's yeah, pretty neat. yeah, I'm excited, and I think there's like some, uh, there's like a Watchdog Legion zombie mode. Is there out or something? Yeah, they might show it there. Well, I'm not sure. That's what I'm saying. Ubi, Ubi and who knows? Ubi, Ubi always supports their games, and, and, and Ubisoft always comes with surprises. Yeah, they've always got new stuff to show. Yeah, yeah Ubisoft usually I can't has wait to at see least that, one thing where I'm just like, oh, I can't wait to see okay. that little French man come out. And Eve. <laughs> yeah, I want him to stand next to someone who's much taller than him. Yeah, so I can always remember him as the little short man, the little short French man. Uh, and I want him to come out and be like. He's like, oh, new IP is the lifeblood of our family. Oh, and that, no. that is not that's the French. EA guy. That is not, that is not I French. I think that's the EA guy anyway. Uh, and then... Uh, With the anthem of all things. Oh, but anyway, um, you know, Ubisoft. Uh, and then Devolver. So uh, I, I, I skipped stuff. ahead, yeah. You can always expect Devolver to have some kind of little gem in there. Hey, and what's Gear, Gearbox is going to show? Okay, that's here, what I was saying. Here's a, here's, here's a shooting game. Here's another shooting game. And here's a game that should have been a shooting game that's not a shooting game. <laughs> yeah. And here's Borderlands. <laughs> maybe, maybe more on the movie. Whoopity do, but you know. I don't get excited for anything Gearbox related. No. Maybe Randy Pitcher will come out and do some magic tricks. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Have you seen my thumb drive? Uh, Have you seen my thumb drive? Uh, Ooh. Uh, <laughs> deep cuts. Um, so, the June next 13th. Day, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. This is probably yeah. one of the heavier hitters of oh, the yeah. conference. Uh, the first one being Xbox and Bethesda. It's game uh, showcase. Uh, the first time seeing the newlywed couple in public. Mm-hmm. That's right. Xbox and Bethesda are doing theirs in a, a joint effort. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. If this is strong enough of a, a presentation as they are, I might consider picking up an Xbox one day. Maybe. If it's a strong enough... I sure. mean, look. If they come out and they blow my soul with Halo and Elder Scrolls 6, and if they make Elder Scrolls 6 Xbox exclusive, I'm going to put my... So that's that's the big but thing that I think a lot of publishers. I don't have. know. I don't know if they're gonna do Elder Scrolls that way. Uh, Starfield, Starfield, they yeah. will because it's new. Elder Scrolls has an established yeah. base yeah. of of people who love to play those games. That and Fallout, they'd be doing themselves. A they'd be shooting themselves on the foot. So but they're I don't, not gonna. I don't think they're gonna do that. But Starfield will be. And I wouldn't put it past Xbox to do that though. If Xbox has any authority in what it comes to. Um, when it comes to uh, whatever Bethesda does, I guarantee you they're going to. Now they they were a little they were a little a little lenient with Minecraft. But I think that's something that Mojang required. I think Mojang, Mojang was like, like, look, if we Mojang sell it was to already you, it was already it was already multi yeah. yeah. But that that's that's every news media outlet that's doing predictions for the show. That's their biggest question mark because we probably know we might see some Halo Infinite stuff. We're gonna see Halo Infinite. We're gonna see time. maybe some Forza it's stuff, oh, yeah. Starfield. But but they want. I think that's the big burning question is. Where's where exclusive, where exclusivity you know? line? Is it? Where's it yeah, that's the, the question. And then also, uh, I'll just get it on PC. I think are these PC. games? Are these games even gonna be worth the exclusivity sure. anyway? I'm not trying to talk crap. No, I but I mean, well, but that's what I'm this, But there's this track record. Well, Starfield's apparently. Okay. Alle- allegedly. 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 But that's, Hi, guys, that's my prediction. Yeah. That's what my prediction is. I would like to see some Starfield gameplay. I well, think yeah, they're I, showing it. They're oh, yeah. showing it. They're gonna I, show I'm it. not too hyped about ES6, but 
I think Starfield will have I don't think it's on. coming. I don't think EA is, I don't think they're saying anything about this. And make, they're make, gonna show make, Starfield. They're gonna they're gonna show it. Is there is there this is just from doing some research scouting around, is there rumors about a fable game or a fable remaster? That remake? that that has been in the rumor mill since the rumor mill opened. Sure. <laughs> it's always been in the back, just back there with Pierre Mile News yeah. lies and promises. <laughs> Peter just sitting there waiting in the chair. Yeah, can I stand up? <laughs> no, not me. Okay. Now every year it's always <laughs> like the, the me? Xbox. Oh, no, it's like, oh, there's a fable reason. dungeon crawler. Oh, it's another new Fable mainline game. Uh, I think we're going to see the, the usual suspects. I think we're going to see like some kind of Forza stuff. That was, that's, yeah. what I, that's what I said. Forza. We're going to see all that. But I, what are they doing? Here's here's a question. Are we going to see Everwild? Are we going to see that? I want to see that. Yeah. What are they doing at Rare? Are they doing anything over there? I don't want to know what they were doing. No, don't. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. Don't do that. Don't get me started. Um, other than that, uh, well, I don't know, Brandon. Why don't we go ask Rare about the other hundred IPs that they have that Microsoft just like, eh, we'll make a connect demo. You know? Um, but uh, I, I think that's I really all. So much Rare. Right <laughs> I mean, I think I think Microsoft has a good opportunity here to, mm. to pull some aces out of the sleeve, big time. But uh, you think we'll see anything about Game Pass about games being pulled in that? Yeah, yeah, I think uh, I yeah, think they're, they're gonna make yeah. a couple more announcements about Game Pass. I think they're gonna be like, "Oh, look, we they have might Game they Pass. might be like, hey, we're making a new revised version of the Xbox Series, or sure. something, even though you can't already get one anyways. Yeah. Well, it's a little easier to get the um, PlayStation. Yeah, I mean, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm more excited for Bl- uh, Blaine. I- I'm really excited for um for for the Microsoft and Bethesda thing I am too. because Sony's oh, yeah. not even having one. Microsoft the, right after the the Sony Microsoft. Announcement at at the what was that 2013 or something 12 or whatever, and Sony just put everybody in the dirt. But the last couple of years with Phil Fencer, Phil Fencer, I said it again, I said it again. It's just embedded in my brain, my brain now. I can't even talk. See, that's anymore. that's actually Sony's new. Just CEO. edit everything I just Phil said. Fencer. Phil freaking Spencer. Anyways, the last couple of their pressers have been have been good. I mean, yeah, they, they, have, they have haven't had the games. It's just they have to but, have the time to wind it up. They got to sure. wind up a punch and. It, now is the I think now, this is yes, the time yes. not to land that punch, but to show you that punch is coming. Yeah. But what are they gonna show? That's the question. Yes. I don't have the answer to that. No. What I would like to see from them though is I would like to see some improvements on Halo. I would like to see what is that game. I know that's what I systematic. I, I want to know what because game it's is. supposed to be an open world. Mm-hmm. What does the open world mean for and Halo? Halo. Yes. Does it mean weather systems? Does it mean? Does it? Is there a day and night cycle? Is, it, is, is there it open world quests? Are there side shops? quests? Yeah, yeah. Like what? What is this game? Yeah. I, that's what I need to know. I 100 percent agree. Uh, other than that, I don't know. How do you have an open world in a Halo? He just killed one way or the other. Open Halo, I guess. <laughs> other, other than that, uh, from the Bethesda side of things, so st- uh, we know I, nothing about Starfield, and I want to know what the heck we, that's going Yeah, on. we're definitely going to see that. Because Outer, outer I'm Worlds right now, not... I'm telling you right now, this is the time for him to show it. it. Yeah. If they do announce anything Elder Scrolls related, they're going to detail what the game is going to be, but they're not going to show anything. Sure. They're going to say, okay, this is yeah, Elder this, Scrolls This is this six, conflict. Uh, we're here. Uh, yeah, whatever Daedra Fall sure. or whatever it is, yeah. they're gonna give you a title and mm-hmm. they're gonna tell you what it's about. Yep. But they're not gonna show Nothing. anything. I agree. That's one thing. Hundred percent. I think that's exactly what's gonna happen. There's some other stuff that Bethesda could do. They might have some more Doom stuff to show. Yeah. They might have some Dishonored stuff to show. Yeah. They might have some Fallout 76 news. Oh, you should. I'm sure that'll be um, a sizzle reel. I hope yeah. they announce that they've resolved their differences with Mick Gordon and finally released the freaking soundtrack for. Doom 2 on Spotify. Release the Gordon cut. Yeah, exactly. Um, no, but I, I think um, I think that's all I really have to say about that one. Yeah. So what is uh, after that? Square. Square Enix Square. presents. Bro, Square has been busy. Square, Square has, has been, been busy. busy. There is a rumor right now about a Dark Souls-like action adventure Final Fantasy origin stories uh, developed by was, Team Ninja. That was my prediction. I don't know that it, they, they haven't said what's going to be in here. There is going to be an update on Babylon's Fall. You remember that game, the action RPG game? No. You don't? Okay, good, great. But I want to see that. Because, yeah. like, Marvel's, I've, I've heard there's going to be probably some stuff about the Marvel's, because right now, Marvel's Avengers is on. It's on the. It's on, it's on an iron lung. 
Yes. Yeah. They it's have, all life support right they now. Have the black, needs a Realm Reborn type yes. redo. They have the Black Panther they expansion have the technology. coming out at the end of the year. So Ooh. that's probably what they're going to detail. Ooh. But that's what a lot of people are saying. Because I've been sniffing between that game and another game. I've played Marvel's They're ballsy Marvel's. doing that. I've they're, played it. They're ballsy doing a Black Panther with uh, with Chad Bo- Bo- Chadwick Boseman's death. I think they're ballsy doing that. No, no, no. Because none of these... Uh, these are This is technically separate. Yeah, I know. I know. I agree. But the thing is, though, is that I think a lot of people are going to see... When they're going to see Black Panther they're going to see Chadwick Boseman and I don't know if that's going to pay off or not it's it's a high risk I think it, high, I think, I think high risk well, high that, reward that's not their problem they're, they're I know putting, it's not their problem they're putting the character in the game right though. And that's what people want. They, they want their characters in the game. See, the problem is that they were, you know, you were promised like, hey, you got Sony, you get Spider-Man like right off the bat. So yeah. Man. So like, I mean, I mean, no disrespect to Chadwick Boseman because he's awesome and he, I, it's very unfortunate, but. Square can't account for that. They, 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 don't, they had this game planned well, and they right, had a DLC right. list planned. That's not, I'm, I'm not at all blaming Square here. I'm talking about John Q. Public. We all know how John Q. Well, Public yeah, is. I mean, if they fumble this. Have you, have you seen how generically off looking these characters look compared? Like, it's like, hey, that's yeah. not Chris Evans. Hey, that's not um, Robert Downey Jr. Hey, it's, it's a Walmart version that's, of the Avengers. That, yeah, pretty much. Pretty mm-hmm. much. And they're going to do the same Great thing. value so, brand Avengers. So, yeah. I say all that to bring it up because Avengers is, is like you said on the Iron Realm but like right now like that fixed. game and Outriders are the big like looter shooter kind of well, thing yeah what I wanted to say was I played Marvel's Avengers yeah. and it's, it's a decent game yes it has potential to be something the really single player campaign is, is loved across the board but yeah. it's the in game multiplayer yeah. and, grind. Every... and so they're supposed to be writing some of that yeah. but we don't know they just gave a blueprint out, yeah. of, of the year so that is, this is kind of be a, that is yeah. the Achilles heel to just about every single Here. either image MMO or looty shooty type games, anything that's going to be an always online experience like that, the killer is going to be in game. You can't sure. stick to in game. Why do people want to keep playing once they hit? Once they hit Here's next a question. Level? Sorry. Right, I agree. Are they so, going to show anything Dragon Quest related, even though we just had Dragon Quest? I didn't thing? think so. I didn't put that down. I, I put Dragon Quest stuff and I, I, I don't think they're going to do anything Final Fantasy VII related. No. However, no, 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 no. however, the Yuffie and Intergrade just dropped mm-hmm. yesterday. They might have announced... And it is a hot topic right now. Yeah. Will they oh, okay. catch the wind of that? A good way. I thought you were... Will, yeah. will, 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 oh, they, yeah. will they ride this wave in yeah. some way? Will they be like, hey, we want to give you some details about Seven's Part 2. Mm-hmm. Will they do anything about that at all? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I highly doubt Knowing it. Square, probably not. I don't think they're going developer, to... Yes. I don't think they're going to <laughs> mention publisher. Part 2 at all. They might... Mm. They might say, oh, we're hard at work at it right now, and it's coming. I think what they might do is they might announce that it's important to other consoles because yeah. exclusive, exclusivity is gone. Yeah, so yeah, I yeah. Think that's, that's, that's true. One thing I do want to th- that one thing I think that that Square would be making a massive mistake if they don't do is if they don't play on this Final Fantasy XIV hype Ooh, right now. Man, Final uh, Fantasy XIV. Oh yeah, the new expansion. I forgot. Final. They need to. I mean, honestly, they need to capitalize on it. They need to announce it. If they haven't announced it yet, they, surely, they need to show them up. Surely. Square Enix is aware that they are at the top they of that They are 100% list. aware right now. Yeah. That's a big deal. That's well, a huge deal. It's a big for the deal. first and, and for people who might not know what we're talking about, for the first time in a long time, the most actively played MMORPG right now is not World of Warcraft. And by actively played, I mean... Um, that means like total number of people actively playing right now. Not just subscriptions, because mm-hmm. WoW is going to crush everybody at the subscriptions. Why I was going to crush everybody at the player base. It's player base, people who are logging in and actively playing the game, whether they have a subscription or not. Final Fantasy XIV just beat out Retail WoW. Mm-hmm. Now, everybody says, well, you know, WoW Classic is counted separately, so they take away from that. The reality is, people aren't playing WoW anymore. People get frustrated with Blizzard. The Classic community is getting frustrated with Blizzard. And you know what's wild is that they both have dropped an expansion yeah. at nearly the same time. I don't know why they would do that. It's so stupid. But, but... I don't want to talk about WoW because we're talking about Square. I'm telling you right now, they are passing up an opportunity of a lifetime to come out here and go for WoW's jugular. And they they did things. just have an event detailing some, some Final Fantasy XIV stuff, so I'm not sure if they have any more ammo left in the chamber. Yeah. But one thing that's really working in their favor is, because people like me, I want to play that game, is, man, they just... 
tickle my it's they tickle good. my nostalgia pickle yeah, so good. well, man. Like I wanna It really is a good game. Jacob's over here like, hey, I got some Magitech armor around yeah. around and I'm like, what from Final Fantasy Six? Is that I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I'm like God, you can't even enjoy it as much as and you he's, can. And he's like he's like, dude, you, you, a chocobo is just you just get a chocobo. You like, fly. You just, you just you get fly. a chocobo. Like, excuse like, me. You can fly. Clouds motorcycle. I was like, I'd pay fifty dollars for that. I would, I would, I would do. I would do. Thing, I would do. Yeah. I would do. Oh. Look, I'm twenty five bucks. Here, I was close. Hey, Here's my hey, only complaint. I would not it blame flies too. My only complaint with Final Fantasy fourteen is, yeah. and this is, it's pretty massive for me, only because, this everybody talks about how great the story is, and I believe them, but a realm reborn story is. Awful. Yeah, I slow. do not like it. I do not like it. I'm sorry. I cannot get into it. I got my Dragoon to level 30, and I was like, I have no interest in playing this anymore. This is this is completely off the track with E3 and everything, but I, I just think I'm, I've reached that phase in my life. I'm done with MMOs. I just want to die with MMOs. Oh, That's why I'm so But that new, that new uh, Reaper class in the new expansion looks really good. I'm sorry. Say that one more time. Got a Reaper. sickle. You got sickle. Spins around I wonder, dervish style. I, I wonder if that... It's bunny boys. I, I'm not, okay. I wonder. Yeah, Bunny boy club. Sorry. <laughs> I wonder yeah. if uh, <laughs> furries over here. I wonder if the Reaper class was based off of uh, Vincent Valentine's original design. He had a sickle. Did he? Mm-hmm. He was originally not supposed to have a gun. He was supposed to have a sickle. Well, See, I don't know get, what I want to play. There's so many things I want to play. I want to be a Dark Knight. I want to be a Gunbreaker. I want to be. I want to be. Uh, maybe I just want to stay but in that room. I, 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 don't know. Agree, I agree with Brandon because I think they've already dumped out their news with yeah. that. I, 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 I agree to an extent. That's, that's we'll not a bad take. Here. That's definitely not a bad take at all. I just, I feel like, I feel like they really need to do something. Like, I, like maybe they already have their, their, their show planned out. I think they need to at least pencil something in and be like, you know, while uh, Final Fantasy XIV is at its yeah. greatest peak. You know what I found it's, out? It's exciting, man. It's, uh, that's going to be a, a yeah. good Sunday. going to be a loaded day. Absolutely. I'm excited. Yes. One, one last touch on that. Um, and this is just a random thing that I heard. Uh, apparently, the director who did took over after it flopped and then was doing Realm Reborn made all of his uh, all of the team play WoW. Like, that was their homework. He's like, you have to clock in X amount of hours in the WoW, and I want you to tell me why WoW is the game. I mean, that's not... That's what WoW yeah, did. That's, wow. that's a good Look, idea. I'm going to tell you right now... Um, WoW borrowed a lot from EverQuest. All of their, all, all the WoW developers, former EverQuest players. You pick that. That is that is a winning formula. A winning formula. What are they doing over there? Well, yeah, let's well, do it better. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. I mean, uh, listen to the feedback, dude. Mm-hmm. All right. So, is there anything else we want to talk about Square? Uh, no. Because there's yeah. Not sorry, much. I went off on a little. I would like to see some surprises. Uh, I, surprise I, me. I think my yeah. my big wild card prediction is I would like to know what's going on with Origins. I want to know what that is. Me uh, too. Yeah. Me well, too. if it's real. If, if it's real, it's personally one of the three. It is real. I think I'm pretty positive well, it's confirmed. It, just not. We just don't know. I don't, I don't know if it is or not. No. Okay. Maybe. But it's. I think it's one of those things where I think it's all but. Okay. I think that's what it is. But um, yeah, um, I do make your own character. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like when we say Final Fantasy Origins, like what are we? What are we oh, let's let's not let's yeah. not get into that can of worms. Next right. up is uh, Warner Bros. Warner Bros. Uh, PC Game Show. Yeah. PC Game oh, Show. Now, Warner, Warner Bros. Either. goes at the four, and PC goes at four thirty. Okay. Backwards. No, no. I'm, just, I'm going off. The no, you're right. Here. I'm I'm the the one uh, I'm looking at has a Warner Bros. Uh, okay, no. okay, let's talk about PC Game Show. PC. Okay, let's go on to Warner Brothers. Uh, so Warner Brothers, the only thing they have confirmed is that they're only going to talk about Back for Blood. Okay. That is awesome because I want to play that game. I think it looks really good. Mm-hmm. Left for Dead, but it's the Left for Dead we've always wanted, and we finally have it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait for this. I'm excited. Real quick, though, while I have while I have the thought out, Brandon, you might not want to skip the PC gaming show because they're talking about that Talking about Valheim. We're talking about Valheim. Oh, yeah, I just I just saw that there. Yeah, at least that new Ash so, Land for, so for the first time in like twelve years, I'm actually. <laughs> I'm gonna, I know that's I'm why gonna, I, I'm gonna I, watch I mean, that show. I mean, look, I'm, I consider myself to be exclu- almost exclusively PC now. I was not interested until I saw Valheim. It, well, typically the PC game shows. Yeah, it's really they don't, they don't have any good games um, that I'm interested in. Now, also, don't sleep on Warner Brothers because not uh, only no, I got, yeah, I got a oh, do you? Do you? What were you gonna say? Slap it out. Let's see it. Hogwarts Legacy. No, it's going on with that game. That's exactly what I was about to say. Remember, Warner Brothers encompasses a lot of things. You might not realize it, but you know what else is under Warner Brothers' belt? Another Realm Studios. Yeah, Mortal Kombat. Kombat. So. This is your Nether Voldemort's going to be the next DLC character. Nether Realm kind of fell into this rotation, right? They did injustice. They, they did. They did injustice. Stop, stop, stop. You, you, you good? <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I had to. He I has had to, to go. <laughs> 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 
Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Oh yes. my gosh. So anyway, this is fatality. Another Realm Studios kind of fell into a um, a rotation, right? So Injustice, yeah. and then right. Mortal Kombat, and then Injustice, then Mortal Kombat. Are we back to Injustice now? Will yes. 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 They Mortal hinted Kombat, it. Mortal in, Kombat uh, 11 came out like two years ago. Dang man. They hinted it. Mortal, uh, Mortal Kombat 11. We're stringing that they game for a while now. Now. Well, you remember there was the whole crunch thing where they were having their. Um, oh yeah. Their their doing their new characters and a new character would come out like once every yep. couple months like but Smash Bros a shame with the characters well I, I went back and I actually just I recently did. bought uh, yeah, the combat pack 2 with Rambo I and Melina and, I, I have uh, it for PS4 I have yet to touch it but I think I'm going to I mean it's a really good game actually I just recently bought Injustice 2 played it I was like hmm I remember why I quit playing this game and in mm-hmm. Mortal Kombat 11 is just a better game but I feel like they still have just that one little notch that they can click one more over that just to get that yeah. formula perfect. The the grind versus the enjoyment of the game. Yeah. Uh, now, what are they doing though? Here is a rumor that is going on. During Mortal Kombat 11, mm-hmm. Ed Boon, the creator of Mortal Kombat mm-hmm. and still the, the, the lead director of it, was interviewed about Mortal Kombat 11 doing mm-hmm. these rapid fire questions and one thing that they asked him was like, hey, is it true that you know you were approached to do a Marvel game at some point? And he, he let out a little bit too much information. Mm-hmm. And it's possible that they're, instead Don't. of doing Injustice, no, 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 no. Instead of doing Injustice, they might be doing a Marvel versus DC game. I don't know if that's plausible. If it's not Mortal Kombat, I mean, if it's not Marvel versus DC, then it's going to be Mortal Kombat versus Marvel. Who knows? Are they going to show it? Is this just a rumor? Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, Disney, uh, DC, whoever owns DC. Hey, look, um, this Warner Brothers. What, what do I have yeah, to do Brothers as an DC. individual? What do I have to do as an individual to get a DC first Marvel game with a story? I want that. Now that's the thing about another realm. They do impeccable story. They do. Books. I love the story. Incredible I love Injustice. story. Books. Injustice is a fantastic story. And Mortal Kombat I, 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 is one, weird, one but more, I enjoy it. One more thing. There is an empty space in the fighting realm right now. Yes. Of Marvel versus Capcom style gameplay, and there's one game that's actually there's two games that are filling that void right now. One of which is Dragon Ball Fighters. The other one is Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. Mm-hmm. Believe it or not, will this game? If it exists, this Marvel versus whatever uh, mystery game, will it be 2v2? Will it be 3v3? Will it be tag team combat? Will it be 1v1? What are these questions? Are these questions going to be answered? Brandon, you're seriously tickling my pickle right now. Like, I've got like a serious pickle. I don't know, man. That's a pickle. Pickle. Pickle, pickle going that's on a, right that's now. That's a long reach, man. It is a very Mar- long reach. Marvel and DC. That's but pretty. you know what, though? You know what, though? I believe in it. I think the I think I think Stan Lee's ghost is gonna come back and say, "I want this game. I want this George game. Bush. <laughs> I, I want this game. <laughs> I forgot, Spider I forgot. Man's gonna be fighting. Yeah. That's yeah. gonna be fighting Batman. Anyway, it's so, the greatest yeah. stories of all time. That's this is my Stan Lee voice. Also, they're probably gonna show that other Batman game that got delayed recently, the uh, okay. Arkham Knights or whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the fifth. How many times are we going to go to Arkham, guys? Anyway. <laughs> that prison's got a bad staffing issue system. Anyways. Uh, well, they just keep renovating it. First it's first it's an asylum, then it's a city. What they What's next? Well, that's their, Arkham Continent. That's, that's their fault for thinking that they could let people run the city. But anyway. Um, take two Capcom. Take two. Uh, so Monday. Yeah, Monday, June 14th. We're going to have take two. to 15 p.m. for take two. We're gonna have that's Cap- central time. We're going to have Capcom. Capcom at 4.30. Mythical mm-hmm. Games, mm-hmm. Freedom Games, mm-hmm. and Razor. Mm-hmm. So let's just talk about Take-Two and Capcom, because I don't know what those other ones are. you, you got to know, we're giving some details on the, the new upgrade for the uh, the, PC, the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X GTA 5. Yeah. Maybe. Take, Take-Two is going to be there. We don't know if Rockstar is going to be there. Uh, yeah. I'm so he, here's the thing. Not, it, Rockstar, it, had, they never show up to E3. Right, right. But it is time to see what that PS... Five slash next yeah. gen upgrade of yes. GTA Online is gonna be. Do you remember that? Remember we saw that trailer for the for the for the when it switched from 360 to or, or yeah to we, Xbox we did One. see that at E3. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we, we did, did see that at E3. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So that is possible. I mean, didn't they um, announce five at E3? They're not gonna no not five not five. There's not going to be anything new GTA or new Rockstar related. I think if they show anything, it's just going to be exactly what you said. Yeah, no, no, no. It's no, going to no, be like a GTA online upgrade. No, six. Uh, yeah, that's that's 
basically what I was going to say. And if and nobody maybe, should get the this, hypes up for that. This is a stretch. Maybe they'll announce the next GTA update with this. Yeah. Maybe a Bioshock 4. There's, there's a Bio- rumor mill going around. No, you don't want to bite on it. Wait, that's 2K. Is that 2K or is that yeah, Take 2? That's 2K. It's 2K. No, I think we're just gonna see different two. From from Take Two, you're oh. just gonna see your you're gonna see oh. your uh, basic sports crap from them. Um, I think that's really what's what's gonna happen. I think even I with think, the low expectation of just the GTA oops, thing, sorry. not even a new GTA announcement, just the, the GTA Online upgrade mm-hmm. reveal. I think that's even a stretch for them. Yeah. I think uh, I think they might announce something cool, like a new hot, uh, heist. It's almost a new riot, a new heist or something. Maybe new online content. Um, I don't know, man. They got just really well don't get your back. don't get your hopes up. I don't want anybody See, getting you, their hopes you up. Hear me on it. Capcom. God damn Capcom. it. Capcom. Thanks, Resident Evil Eight. Resident Evil Eight, Resident Evil 8 DLC. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's gonna happen. I Monster guarantee Hunter it. Rise. We're gonna see some Monster Hunter Stories stuff. Stories too. The other Monster Hunter game. I would like to know. This is my prediction. I looked into this a little bit. That Prop Mana game. What the heck's going on with that thing? Remember that game? Oh, the, the, the weird uh, space, astronaut. Space that's cat. Gonna be, I think that's gonna be here. Yeah, it's gonna be here. Uh, we're gonna see that with the weird shooting the wireframe ball thing. Yeah. I think that's gonna be here. Street Fighter Six. Reverse. They're gonna talk about reverse. Maybe not Street Fighter Six. Yeah. Reverse. But I think they're. It's time for them. To, what is their next fighting game entry? Maybe not necessarily Street Fighter, mm-hmm. um, like six per se, but right. something because Street Fighter Five is coming to an end, from what yes. I understand. Because there's only two DLC yeah. characters left. Um, one of them's already been revealed and detailed, and another one's kind of a mystery. Maybe we'll see that last DLC character. Uh, but Street Fighter Five has been one of those rocky games yeah. launched really horrible really, got kind of fixed went kind of bad with the dlc yeah, it just kind of has always been up and down it hasn't been this this like been at the top stay at the top mm-hmm. you know like mortal Kombat or something like that sure um so i'd like to see what they're gonna do we're gonna see some uh we're gonna see some some uh maybe marvel versus capcom huh? <laughs> no maybe not capcom versus something Anything? Just give us, <laughs> give us a Capcom versus anything. Like literally, I have a game over there that, that's Tatsunoku versus Capcom. Who knows what Tatsunoku is? I, no, almost no one knows what Tatsunoku is. I didn't know what it was, but I bought it? it and I played it, and that's an incredible game. What is it? It is a uh, Japanese. JRPG um, stuff. No, it's a television like animated like. I, if I showed you pictures, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. But wanna, they made like. Um, I'll show you some pictures anyway. I want to see Chris Redfield. Frank West and Spider-Man take on Nemesis again. Which was the most random thing I ever thought I'd see. You ever seen these guys before? Like, you ever seen some of these characters? Like, in the little superhero suits? Nope. With the, uh, or how about any, oh, yes. any of that? The guy with the visor and something. Have you seen any of it's that? It's like Speed before? Racer, isn't it? Isn't that a Speed Racer? No, not, not Speed Racer. But it's an animation company. Is that a dog? It is. Um, it's like Hanna Barbera anime. But can we see like can, can we get Capcom versus something? Yeah. Anything? Just give us Capcom that, versus Hanna Barbera. I want that gameplay. I want that gameplay <laughs> of, of, a, of a Capcom versus game. Even Fred they, Flintstone they versus Capcom, uh, Ryu. They had Capcom versus SNK back in the day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Street Fighter Cross Tekken, sure. and stuff like that. Give us something. Give us something. And I think Steve's right. I think they're gonna maybe show some Reverse and yeah. probably that Resident Evil movie. I, I really hope. I really Agreed. hope that Reverse is decent. My biggest excitement for this is gonna be Resident Evil Eight DLC. Yes, yeah. big, big mama DLC. Get, let me give you my money. Uh, I want to see more Lady Dimitrescu. Tuesday. Oh boy. Tuesday. Eleven a.m. Central Time. Here, save the best for last. Mm-hmm. As always, Nintendo Direct. No hardware showing, software only, four minute showcase with a three hour gameplay session. Afterwards. No hardware showing after Twitter for like okay. the past five weeks. We're like, Switch Pro's getting released today. Okay, the, we, new, the new Switch, the new Switch, the new Switch, the new, new Super Switch. Can, can, we, can we address advance. the elephant in the room? Uh, Smash. Very clearly, they're they're gonna have the next Smash character there. Oh yeah. Crash. There's no doubt about. They're it. gonna do both. They're gonna do the last two. Crash. I think they're gonna you start. You think so? I think they're gonna do exactly what they did when they revealed Banjo. They're gonna, they're going to do a clip at the beginning. They're going to say, here's the character. The character's going to be like, and, and, and then they're, they're, they're going to announce the cooler cool. one after. The, cooler, the coolest one is going to be at the end. They're going to be like, oh, we got one more thing. Now, there is also a rumor going around that there's going to be one last bonus DLC fighter. One last one. You know, I, as much as I'd love that, I really think Sakurai needs to take a break. As well. Me as well. But they what, started with a bonus character. What so will, they're going to end with a bonus What will that character. bring the count up to? 
Well, if you think about it, if they do as, as, as a smash like... nerd, as a smash nerd, if <laughs> if they do Steve one is sleeping, I'm so tired. If they do that one last character that comes with a stage and comes with music, then the stages will be completely flush. Yeah. Because Jeez. if they only Oh, that's mm. If they only do two more, there's going to be one little blank space right there at the mm. bottom unless they reformat it. But there's going to be one little space. It's mm. Birdo. No, God, please. Pow. Now, who's it going to be? I think I, I think there is a very... Actually, there's a rumor going around right now that it is, in fact, the Doom guy. I'm okay with that. Stunt race. 100% okay with that. Stunt race. Stunt race FX. I'm, I'm uh, 100% okay with it being Doom guy. I, I, I'm Doom yeah, guy one of my picks. I, Doom guy's one of my picks. I fought it for a while. Now I'm like, I'm over it. Like, Dude, okay, BFG sure. would make a fantastic sure. final And can, can the, Is the level just going to be hell? You're just going to go straight to hell? I <laughs> hope so. No, but I, I, I mean, at this point, we all know it could be anything. It could be anyone. I mean, look, I think so. Okay, uh, I, I'm gonna finish my thought real quick, Jacob. No, Sorry. Um, uh, I, I think I think one of the biggest hurdles for for a Doom guy coming in, if he's not coming in, is going to be the Mick Gordon thing, the Mick Gordon controversy. The music. There's there's just a copyright issue going on, and, and Mick Gordon's cut. Uh, there's some kind of dispute, and I don't know who truly owns it. Because um, I guarantee you they share ownership, and I guarantee you they're going to need more. No, but do do remember that a lot of this stuff is developed so ahead of time. It might have been before, True. It may, like it may have been been in development. Well, I think that's I think that's what the hurdle has been. They may have had it developed, but if if Mick Gordon's got a, if Mick Gordon has a right to pull the plug, he probably pulled it. But I don't know. Yeah. But what could have I feel happened? Bad for is, him because his music is really really good. Oh, dude, his music is so amazing. I don't know what happened. Oh, I was man. like, I I, I want to be want to go Bethesda be like Bethesda. You you. You you ruined Fallout seventy six. You ruined <laughs> Microsoft bought them. Hey hey, quit messing everything up. Yeah, we're here now. Okay? Like, get it together. Get it together um, with the, with the, but I mean, whatever whatever y'all did to Mick Gordon, make up. So I think at a minimum, we're definitely getting at least one Smash character. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. That, 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 I, I, I think, think we're going to. I think we're going to. I think, we're going to. That, I think it's a no brainer. We're going to get. At I least think one. that's a good point that you brought up with the bonus character. That is a possibility. I don't know where I am on the fence on it. I think I'm kind of in the middle. I think it could happen, but I also am very, very, very concerned with <laughs> Sakurai's uh, physical health. Look, I'm going to tell you this, though. Just re-release this game every Nintendo console. I'm totally fine with that. It's fine. Me too. Here's the thing with Nintendo right now. Nintendo's got a butt-ton of games that people are salivating over right now. I sit in their closet and we don't know anything about We are not going to see... We are not going to see... Breath of the Wild 2. That so? will not be here. I don't know. I don't that know. will I, not be. I, if anything, a new one will show up and he'll be like, hey, here's a little look of something cool. And he'll be like, that's what I think it's going to be. And then he'll be like, all right, see you next year. So wait, that's there's, what I, there's I, a, I think that's what's going to happen. I don't think they're going to show a game, but they're just going to be like, hey, here's, here's the idea. By the way, um, Twilight Princess is coming to Switch. Yeah. See you later. Boom. <laughs> I, <laughs> Until then, play this. There's a three-hour gameplay session afterwards, though. So what are the? What are, they're not playing. Smash. It's gonna be Splatoon three. You think so? I guarantee. Or, or Pokemon Arc. Pokemon. Maybe maybe those. Maybe those. I think yeah, it's gonna be Splatoon po- three. Pokemon. They did Pokemon a while back. The, yeah, the new Pokemon games are pretty close. I think it's gonna be Splatoon the, three. The, the, it's not gonna anything that they announced today. The anything that they Pearl revealed Remake. today, uh, or, or Tuesday. Anything that they reveal, anything that's still in like heavy development, they're not gonna do any gameplay. I'm, I'm gonna have my my wild card prediction here. Sure. sure. We will see, not gameplay, but we will see Metroid Prime 4. That's what I, was I think that's, so, uh, I think, I think all the stuff that we've been waiting on, that we're going to see a little bit more. We're not going to see any gameplay, we're going to see yeah, like some I think if in-engine it, footage, if that, we're going to see some in-engine footage of, of, Meta, uh, of Metal Gear, I almost said Metal Gear. They're going to be playing Metroid that Prime Golf game, by the way. Yeah. The uh, Metro Prime 4, we're going to see some some kind of, I don't know if it's going to be in-engine. It's going to be very similar to like what you see. as in, It's not going to be in-game. It's not oh, in-game. Oh, wait. Footage. I just remembered my wild card. Oh, okay. So Jacob just brought up the Donkey Kong rumor about the Odyssey team was working on. Oh, yeah. Now. Okay, so so my 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 Metroid Prime Oops, Four wild my, my Metroid Prime Four <laughs> wild card away, is is kind of I don't want to say it's playing it safe, but I don't think it's absolutely wild. I think this is my biggie, right? Sure. This is my biggest one because it's just time. It's time for this. Yeah, we need either an update on an existing game 
or a new game in the Mario Kart franchise. Okay. Oh yeah, we talked about this. That is, I think that's coming. We too. talked about I, this. I agree with that. It's I think because nine. I think nine. Mario Kart Eight has been out since the Wii U. Wii U. Yeah. yeah. It's been out since the Wii U, and then they've got Mario Kart Live Tour, which has gotten more attention and way more cool features than it deserves. Yeah. Yep. With like. Why have a Mario character? Why have Mario, Metal Mario, Tanuki Mario, and Cat Mario as all separate characters when you can just have Mario yeah. with different costumes? I want to see the next iteration of the Mario yeah, Kart franchise. Oh my God, yes. That's the biggest wild card because I don't think it's going to happen, yeah. but that's what I want to do you think that'd be? Do you think that one or Donkey Kong? And, they, and then I know they said they didn't, they didn't say anything about hardware, but maybe that's something that comes along when they actually I officially can't. announce the hardware upgrade. Because I don't, I, I don't think with the power the of this new hardware, we can play... We can they're not going to do what they did before and make the new 3DS and have games that can only be played on that. No, no, yeah, I know. I mean, I have to play both Because a, a lot of people think there's going to be this more powerful Switch, but then they're not going to develop games that you can't play. No, yeah. Nintendo that, never that, does they that. They would shoot themselves in the foot. Because they've done it before. They've done it with 3DS. Yeah. Yeah, the they're not going to do that. They're yeah. not going to do that. Here's, here's about that. I think what I think somebody got fired over what happened with, the, with, with how everybody was saying, like, well, they're going to release it now. They're going to announce it today. They're going to announce it today. They're going to announce it today. I think they pulled a page off of that uh, developer. Um, I can't remember what developer it was. I saw an interview where they give each employee different leaks. So yeah, one, control, one, one of them comes out. One of them comes out. I think whoever leaked that they were announcing it, because I think I think they told now, somebody they're like we're gonna announce it this day. The, the hardware, the hardware thing, I think is possible, and I, I don't just, think they're going to. I just don't think it's they said they're not, but that's. I just Nintendo don't, is always by the book with their yeah, press release. Yeah, yeah. If, when, if they said they're not, if showing they said they're not it, showing it, 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 it's not happening. Yeah, yeah. it's not happening. Because like I, every every Nintendo Direct, we're always like, are we gonna show that next Smash character? Yeah, because they'll I, literally say, hey, this is only for Donkey Kong yeah. game stuff, and then they won't show anything else. Nintendo is 100% by the book every time. They never, ever break rank. They never, ever do... If they're going to say they're doing something, they never, ever do the opposite. If they're going to come out and they're going to say, we're not talking about this, we're only talking about this, they're only going to talk about that. Yeah. They won't tell you. If, if they have a surprise, they're not going to say, we're not talking about it. They're just not going to tell you they're about it. They're not going to mention it. Because that's, that's, oh, that's, that's how they got us with Cloud and Banjo. They didn't say Ooh. we're not talking about Smash Bros. They're saying we have a surprise. Uh, uh, they just they say, just, "Hey, we have a 42-minute direct." We have a 42-minute direct. Talk about bit, stuff. Talk yeah. about stuff, and then at the end they're like, "Okay, we got one more." They're thing. vague. And they're they're never specific enough for you to, to guarantee. You can't it. call them a liar because they won't lie to you. They're going to tell you the truth every time, but they're just going to withhold some things. Um, but Nintendo. So uh, back to the Zelda thing because I do have an interesting uh, take with Zelda. I think they're going to show. Like, kind of like how they did with Breath of the Wild 1, where they show that, like, scene where... The blown out TV? With Link's running out... R Link's well, on the horse. TV, but yeah, no and, and then the, uh, the Guardian comes out shooting at him. I think it's going to be something like that. I also think that they're going to they're gonna tease us with another uh, remaster port for the Switch. It's got to be Twilight Princess. It's got to be Twilight Princess. It's got to be. I don't know why they wouldn't bring that over. Hmm. They might, and I'm... This is a what long about, shot. This is a long shot for me. I don't think it's happening at all, but I'm hoping and praying and God, hoping are and praying. You, I've say, had a string of fantastic luck lately. Are you I'm about hoping to, are that you, it continues. Are you about to say what I think you're about I, to say? I'm, I'm about to say, say the All Star Zelda. Uh, okay, it's not collection. what I was gonna say. But <laughs> all Star Zelda. They need collection. to. They need to bring. Put Ocarina of Time, Twilight. Ocarina of oh, Time, oh. Twilight, Wind Waker. All in one game. No, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> I think. No, I know it's not gonna happen. I I'm think, praying that. I God hope they bring happens. them all, and even if they're separate purchases, I think they just need to have all of them on the Switch. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know what my wild card is? Star do you want to finish your your your? <laughs> uh, song? I know. Okay. My I'm wild so card. Sad. My wild card is my Nintendo boy. Online 64. Uh, oh, oh, you mean the, uh, yeah. My boy. Or they, they some, in boy. some way, Look what they shape did to my boy. Look at how they massacred my boy. <laughs> in yeah. some way, shape, or form, they're going to bring Nintendo 64 to the Switch. I don't know if they're going to continue this Nintendo Online approach, or if they're going to say, hey, we're going to come back with a virtual console type deal. Uh, yeah. I don't know. If something Star Fox like gets like announced, I want to see a picture of you as soon yeah. as, as, soon as I want you to angry. film. I want you to film. <laughs> no, I want out. you to film your reaction, Fox, because if that boy. happens, look, I want you to film your reaction. Fox tail. I want you to film your reaction because if that does happen, I want to see Jacob's genuine response. I don't want to see a, a, a Snapchat. Gonna, wait, hold on, wait, I wait. want to see Jacob's it's face. It's going to have to be outside like, because we, I'll we, scare my kids. We, we've said all our wild cards. Is that, is that kind of what yours is? Oh, I know. I know it's not. That's just a personal like. Hold not hope for. Well, like, 
hold not hope for because maybe that might be like a couple of years from now. Maybe we see something, they try something with the IP because the problem is that stupid Star Fox Zero game just shoved that, that franchise into right the back dirt. In, right back in the abyss. But then they did the Starlink thing and that game was mediocre, but a lot of people went out to buy the Switch version because just, you could yeah. play it. What happened? Fox. What happened to Star Fox So that Zero? should be enough to tell you, go, just, tell, tell you, go, hey, there's good. a base out here that still wants Star that game. Star Fox Zero is not a bad game. It's just not it's what not. we wanted. No. It's, it's it was it was the Wii U. I wanted the, the gyro style controls. Game. Yeah, that's it what was it was. Too it was gimmicky. That's what and it was. And not a lot of people wanted it. I want an adventure the style. Thing, game. The thing, the thing about the Wii. The thing about the Wii know, and the Wii I know. U. The thing yeah. about the Wii and the Wii U is that Nintendo was just like gimmick, 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 gimmick. It worked sometimes, like for Twilight Princess, and then it didn't work like for Skyward Sword. That's the best um, way I can explain. So, anyways, that's just so yeah. Uh, any, I think they're moving away from that too. After that, there's uh, Bandai Namco. Eh. Bandai Namco could show some. Um, I hope they show an, an interesting Dragon Ball, another interesting Dragon Ball Z fighter. Oh uh, yeah, they could say if they're doing anything um, Tekken related. Yeah, because yeah. Tekken, I think, needs their last. Did they do their last character? I don't Negan know nothing from about. Walking Dead. I still can't get over that. Um, huh? He's not their last character, but he's no, in no, Tekken. No, no, there's. I don't think. I'm so sorry. I think they might be done with theirs. I'm not sure. They might. Uh, but this was. This would be where you would see. Um, I'm going blank. I know, me too. Uh, I can't remember. I, I, my brain juices have just completely... <laughs> you wasted them all on Nintendo. I did. Hold on. Give me a second. Talk amongst yourselves about... Um, about what? <laughs> Bandai Namco. Uh, How about Wednesday. that new Pac-Man game? Wednesday is the Steam Next Fest. What is that? Anyone know? No. I'm I'm excited for that. That's pretty cool. Oh wait, the Steam next version. So Let there is a up. wait. No, no, there's a rumor with Steam. There's supposed to be a. Um... Hey, Elden Ring is Bandai Namco. Okay, no, no, but seriously, when you brought the Steam thing up, Steam is in the, isn't Steam working on a handheld? Yeah, they're working on something. Yeah, so like a Switch like, style like handheld Switch that you're supposed to be able to draw from the Steam library. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. So here, here's a question. First, you had my curiosity. Now you have my attention. Uh, the yeah. Tales of series. Eh. They Elden, said, "Come on, Steve. Elden you want to be a PC player, right? <laughs> We're going to give you a PC port I think console. Lot, that's like his Switch." I think a lot of people are just excited for Elden Ring. Elden Ring. Yeah. And then Steam Next Fest. I mean, that's just I don't know. I don't, I, 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 might I, hear I don't, some more about that handheld, maybe. maybe I something. hope so. I, so the thing I really like about Steam is the uh, little indie games that, that they pop yeah, up with sure. every now and then. I think that's the top. Some of the most fun I've had that's, in a long time in gaming has just been random off the cusp games that I bought on Steam. Phasmophobia being the primary example. I still play Phasmophobia. I played Phasmophobia in VR. I nearly had a heart attack. Oh, I did. I nearly had a heart attack. Um, I, I actually saw a ghost this time. I almost died. I literally almost this it, it was immediately declared deceased. No, it's not so I'm sure, I'm sure they're going to announce some, some cool hmm? stuff there. Was it? The ghost? Yeah. It was the naked ghost. Uh, it wasn't even that scary of a ghost. No. That one's not the scary one. Um, the naked ghost? So the real quick, ghost. give me your top three things you're most excited for during this oh, E3. Geez. Oh, I didn't do notes. Oh. Do I have to do individual companies? Because ah. I'll think all three of mine are going to be to know. No, just, just give, t- give me your top three things, top three games you're, you're excited to see at E3. Uh, games? I don't really have games. You don't, don't have one. Yeah. I really don't. Or, 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 Sony's absent. Cause, or, or cause you... I... Oh yeah, we need to talk about that. Is the so, fact that yeah, Sony that's hasn't... the problem. They haven't said anything, uh, and maybe they will. Honestly, so, the only I anticipated game that I have right now is, is that I know of that is, uh, that is like. Material. Okay, I guess I, I guess I could include Breath of the Wild too, but I don't know if you're even going to talk about Breath of the Wild too. I, I, that's not what I, that's not what I asked. What I asked was, what do you want to see most from the C3? It, it, your imagination is the limit. What do you want to see? I I am excited to see what Microsoft is going to talk with their like C said their their newlywed marriage of Bethesda. Yeah. I I think I'm going to be super excited to know what Starfield is and to see what it looks like, and I think I'm going to be so sad because it's going to make me want to get an Xbox and I'm not going to do it. So hey, I will say during. The, during the 360 PS3 era, I did have both mm-hmm. because the fact that there was exclusives on both sides and the fact that the PS3's interface was doo-doo. I want, <laughs> when, it, when it came to multiplayer. Yeah, and yeah. That's the thing is like, I've been on the, I don't know if they still do that now, but I know they have that payment plan where you can pay off those consoles, which is a yeah. really cool idea. That's a fantastic And I thought about idea. doing the S because the S is super expensive. <laughs> hey, how about we, me and you go together and we, we split an Xbox <laughs> just to play these games? <laughs> I want, well, that, because Game Pass is such a great thing and deal. Microsoft has been punching Sony in the face with their Game Pass, and so I'm. But it's not enough. 
It's, it's not enough. It's not enough. It's not, there's not enough. I don't games. think either one of them have enough. Like like PlayStation Now, I don't think has enough, and, and Xbox Game Pass. Is I not no, I'm saying they, I think Game Pass does have enough for the consumer. I think it's not enough, enough for, for them to, to, to buy punch it. up at Sony. It's just, yes, it's a good. It's it's helping, but it makes them look good. So that, that I think I don't oh, have. Man, I, don't I, have a, I don't think Sony's got. The I don't have a top three aside from Nintendo. I'm excited about Nintendo just in general. Uh, and then yeah. I would say the Xbox Bethesda. I mean, if I'm talking about like excitement and, and sky's the limit, I'm gonna say um, I'm gonna say like I really think Nintendo is gonna be the best show, best show this year. I oh mean, yeah. I, I mean, think, in all honesty, clear. they're they're Agreed. set up to be better than everybody else. But I just don't have the hype behind anything else, to be honest with yeah, you. Yeah, I think I'm with you. I think my expectations are very low this year. I'm, Same. I, I, even though I put that really They're cool, tempered. I put, I put that really cool hype clip at yeah. the beginning because I wanted to generate some hype. I'm really actually not that hyped. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not going to say I'm not hyped. I'm going to say my, exactly. my expectations are tempered. Okay? I'm not expecting this to be a mind-blowing show because I don't even know what a lot of the other... Other than Nintendo, I really don't know what other... Back for Blood companies, yeah. I Back think, for Blood. Oh, that's there you go. There you go. That's probably. Uh, I know. Yeah. I know a fair amount about there. it. I think I'm most excited for. Okay, yeah, let's hear. Um, Smash character. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Smash character. Smash character. Smash character. I mean, Back for Blood, mm -hmm. and uh, just the Microsoft and yeah, just the, the Microsoft conference yeah. in general. I the reason I'm not putting Nintendo as a whole is because I'm tempering those expectations to the point Good where I, I do not want to be upset. Even though I sure. set up, I, I mean, because sure. because it, it's the point of the show is for me yeah. to give you what I, I want to see. Yeah. But I have I am not expecting to see Zelda. I'm not expecting to see Metroid Prime. I, well. I am ex I'm expecting to see Metro Prime, Prime make an appearance, but I'm not going to be upset if they don't show it. Basically, what I'm trying to say is everything I said about Nintendo, even though it's my predictions, I will not be upset if they don't show it because I'm. That's I, how I, temper, I, That's I how temper I'm expecting them to not Same. show that. Um, I, the I only think, thing I'm absolutely expecting for Nintendo is that Smash character. Yeah. So that's why it's on the top of my list. Oh, yeah, Smash. I'd say Smash characters on the top of my list. Um, honestly, we have the same list. Back, back for blood. Pretty, pretty that's much. second. That's yeah. second. Maybe, agree. maybe number three. I'm excited to see some new VR titles, but that's because I got this, my, my this E3 has potential to be extra special with the sleeper hits. Yeah. We just oh got, yeah. We just got to see it happen. Yeah. Absolutely. Just the things that we can't we can't account see some for. Some dark horses. Yeah. That's what I want to see. I that's what I'm excited that. for. Hey viewers, tell us what you were most excited for, and if you're listening to this after E3, tell us how wrong we were. <laughs> anyway, so let's review our trivia card of the show. Uh, at the very beginning of the show, we did two trivia questions, and I'm going to reveal those answers right now. First question, which former Gears of War studio is the developer for the 2017 game Fortnite Battle Royale? Apple. And I wish I could n just stop hearing this name. Sierra. <laughs> Sierra Interactive. You guys are both wrong. It's Epic Games. <laughs> And with names shared for the typefaces used for their speech bubbles, what are the skeleton yeah, duo okay, and Undertale called? Sans and Papyrus. Papyrus and Sans. For some reason, though, when I see Papyrus' face, I call him Papyrus. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's just like I understand that the name is that the that I understand. Is it like when you write out the word Wednesday? You have yeah, to, you have to, do you know, Wednesday. You have to go Wednesday. 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 But, but for some because reason, that word makes no sense. Like like I know it's Papyrus. I know the word is Papyrus, but Papyrus. The, the character to me, for some Papyrus. reason, I want to call him Papyrus because well, like, is he a skeleton too? Yeah, they're brothers. They're, they're brothers. Oh, okay. Anyway. And he has the best theme song like of all time. The best boss battle fight almost of all time. That's the show. Thanks so much for listening to yeah, that was good. to our E3 hype show and predictions <laughs> program. It's going to be fun to do the wrap-up, too. Yes, it is. Stay tuned for that one. I can't wait for that one. Y'all better not miss next week. <laughs> no, I'll be. Uh, thanks so much for listening. Uh, if you want to talk to us, show at gmail.com or anywhere at our social media platforms. Um, Check it out on Spotify and YouTube. Spotify and yeah, YouTube even. I'm posting on YouTube again. And um, look for me on Twitch. I hope to start streaming again eventually. Nice. What's your what's your what's your handle? Go guys. G E A U X underscore G E I S T. I don't do anything. Shame. Just see, you. see you next week. I mean, I don't do anything either, but I try. To. You see my you see my face right now? Uh huh. I want to remember this face because this time next week. Tell me if I got the same face on. Okay, all right. I, wait, viewers don't know, but we will, we will, we will confirm. Because this, this is, as far as E3 is going so far, yeah. this is my face, right? <laughs> it's not even a special face. Yeah. It's, it's, it, it's a, it's a yeah. halfway board face. It's just a, hmm. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Bye. I'm Steve.
We didn't do the outro introduction that we normally do. That's why. That's why. In my, my brain, Jacob, my I'll brain, my brain was just like, keep it oh, I'm Steve. Let's keep it going.